A cube number is any number that is to the power 3, for example, 2 to the power 3, an example is 8. A natural number is any number that is positive and is a whole number, for example, 243. A square number is any number that is squared, for example, 2 squared, which is 4. A prime number is a number that can only be divisible by itself and 1, an example is 7. A common multiple of 4 and 17 would be 68. First common multiple, you have to find the factors. So in this case, it will be 32 here, 80 here. The factor 4 will multiply to 8 and here 20. And then further 4 will multiply by 2 and multiply by 5. Hence, 4 times 4 times 2 times 5 equals to 160. So the answer is 160. To calculate the upper bound of something, you look at this statement here, nearest millimeter is 0 0.1, divide this by 2, you get 0 0.05, hence your upper bound will be 6.5 plus 0 0.05, and since we have to calculate the height of the tower, we multiply by this by 3, giving us a final answer of 19.65. Standard form, you move backwards 1, 2, 3, so 4.56 times 10 to the power minus 3. Of a ratio, you simply add the ratios, giving us 20 here. To show that Annie receives 330, you do 11 over 20 times 600, giving us 330. Increase, you simply have to do 12 over 100 plus 1, and you multiply this by 1 of 5, that will give you the increase. To calculate original price, you do, and this is since it's reduced, what you do is you do 100 minus 16, giving us 84, and then you do 1 of 5 divided by 84 over 100. And this will give you 125 and that's how you do it Simple interest and compound interest here's the formula i is the interest earned p is the money borrowed invested r is the rate of interest and t is the time for compound interest a is the accumulated account this is the invested or borrowed amount then this is one plus r which is the interest rate which is r and t is the time taken to answer any of the questions you use these formulas exchange rates you simply have to do if one dollar is equals to 124.3 japanese yen how much will $80 equals to? You cross multiply and you can find the value of x. Speed, distance and time. Speed equals to distance over time. Speed here is 18. Distance we have to calculate and time is in minutes. So you do 55 divided by 60 to convert in two hours. You cross multiply and d will be 16.5 km. Simplify this equation, what you simply have to do is five times three, which is 15, five times n, which is five n, minus n times 3 which is minus 3n and minus n plus n which is minus n squared this gives us n squared plus 2n plus 15 as the final answer in like this you put both x's on one side and the whole numbers on the other side so 11x minus 3x is equal to minus 7 minus 15 giving us 8x is equal to minus 22 x equals to minus 22 over 8 giving us negative 2.75 as x. In this equation like this, we use the substitution method. Since we know y is equal to x over 2, I will substitute in, in the second equation, making it 2x minus, I substitute y value here, so x over 2 equals to 1. 2x minus half x equals to 1 by opening it up, and now I can find the value of x. The value of x is 2 over 3. To find the value of y, you put 2 over 3 into the first equation by doing 2 over 3 divided by 2, giving us a value of 1 over 3. Subject of the formula, what you simply do here, you square both sides to get rid of the roots, so y squared equals to x squared plus 1. Take 1 the other side, becomes y squared minus 1, and then you root this, plus minus equals to x, therefore that is your answer. Variation is like this, y is inversely proportional to x squared, to get rid of the inverse you do y equals to k over x squared by introducing a constant. You have these values, you substitute them in, so k over 4, the value of k will be 32. Now to find y in terms of x, you simply just plug in the values. So y is going to be equals to 32 over x squared. Laws of indices, whenever it's power zero, it equals to one. When it's negative one, it becomes the inverse. When it's multiplication, you add the two powers. When it's division, you minus the powers. When it's like this, you can multiply the two powers. When it's n over m, you can write it in this format. Quantities is the same as equations. You put both x's on one side. So that will be 13 minus seven is equal to two x. This will become 6 uh, is equals to 2x, therefore 3 is 2x, and hence the final answer is x is less than or equals to 3. Consideration formulas, you can pause the screen and remember these formulas that you'll be needing them in your paper. For polygons, you need to know these three formulas. The sum of all angles of an n-sided polygon is n minus 2 times 180. Each angle of a regular polygon can be used by this formula, n minus 2 times 180 over n. To find 
sum of all the exterior angles of a polygon must add up to 360 degrees. The circle theorems, you can pause the video and look at each of the scenarios and remember how to tackle them when you get a question on circles. This is a question of Pythagoras theorem. Each side can be labeled by A, B, and C. If you want to find the value of B, you need to know this formula, A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. A squared here is 8 squared plus B squared we need to find out. C squared is 18 squared. To rearrange, you get 18 squared minus 8 squared, and if you root this, you can get the value of b. This is Pythagoras' theorem. We're supposed to find the symmetry of a shape. In this shape, it's a rhombus, so there's only two lines of symmetry, which is like this. So there's only two lines of symmetry. They can give you other shapes, and you have to find the lines of symmetry. A line of symmetry is simply when you have two opposite mirrors when you cut the line through. This is a question on similar triangles. This side is similar to this side, hence we can equate them to each other. 15 over 5 is equals to and this side is equals to this side or is similar to this side so therefore 16.5 is equals to ef if you want to find ef you have to cross multiply so 15x equals to 16.5 times 5 x will equal to 5.5 and therefore your value of ef is 5.5 this is a question on trigonometry in these questions you need to remember so toa where this is sine this is cos and this is tan in this case, we need to find BC, which is the hypotenuse. So we have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So if we have opposite and hypotenuse, you use sine. So sine 52 is equals to 8.6 over CB. And you can then therefore make the subject CB the formula. And that will be 8.6 over sine 52. And you can find your value of BC. Questions on lines. You need to know the format of an equation of a line where Y is equals to MX plus C, where M is the gradient and C is the Y intercept. For lines that are parallel to each other, the gradients are always the same. So in this case, the values of M are always the same. For lines that are perpendicular, what that means is if I multiply the two gradients of the lines, I will get negative one. On sets, when it's a subset, it means it's within a set. When it's a proper subset, that means uh, the elements of A and B are within. When it's disjoint sets, they are not together. When they're in intersection, that means the middle part will be intersected and the sign is like this, so it's an N. A union is when both the elements are together, so both elements A and B union, or you have to include all elements within the set. And a complement is everything except that set is a complement. Here is a question on vectors. So you simply have to just minus it like this. 5 minus 3 is 2, minus 1 plus 2 is 1. For this, you can write it as A is... Uh, 3 6 and B is 5 10 if I want to find A to B so I just simply have to do 5 um, sorry uh, 5 10 minus 3 6 giving us 2 4 under transformations we have to know four types of transformations which involve reflection where you simply draw a mirror line and the two images there's the rotations which um, can be from 90 degrees 180 degrees to 70 degrees we then have translations, which um, are written in the form like this, uh, where negative, uh, where the top means, you know, going um, right to left and down, going up or down. And then we have enlargement, which is simply using a scale factor uh, to enlarge the shapes. Question on probability and how you answer this question is here. First of all, they've given the total number. They've said six are red, nine are blue, the rest are white. So I believe five are white. To write down the probability, what you simply have to do is there's a chance to pick six red balls out of the 20. So the probability is six out of 20. There's five chances, five balls of white. So hence there's the probability of five over 20. And for yellow, uh, since yellow, there is no yellow balls. Hence there will be zero probability will be zero. On functions, if this is the case, you simply have to just plug in three X into the function. So that will give us three plus 4 into 3x, giving us 3 plus 12x as the answer. Related to angles of a sector, you need to know how to calculate the arc length, the area of the sector, and the perimeter of the sector. In something like this, what you simply do is multiply these two together, so that becomes 6x, then you do 3 minus 1, so it becomes squared, and this will just be 3. So this would be the differential uh, or the differentiation of this.